Hi, I'm Katie Nobles. And I'm disability attorney Michael Liner. And you're watching The Bottom Line. Today's topic, do's and don'ts of disability hearings. Michael, we know that you have a ton of experience, years and years of experience in, you know, working in disability hearings. So for this series, we're just going to give you guys a couple of tips. So what is your first tip? One thing that I think is so important to get across is that less is often more. And what I mean by that is um, so often, you know, when giving an answer to one of my, my questions that I would ask a client in a hearing or um, the judge's questions that a judge would ask a client in a hearing, the client wants to give a long narrative response and keep it short, keep it sweet. And often, and it, it goes the same for me, it's not just, um, you know, for, I don't just want the client to keep it short and sweet. I also sometimes will very, in, you know, intentionally limit the number of questions that I ask my client in the hearing because I can't always control what my client's going to say. And there's a reason for that, anxiety. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I try and put myself in my client's shoes and imagine the significance of the hearing day. Um, you know, oftentimes my clients have waited years for their hearing day. It's finally there. Their financial future is riding on the line of the outcome of that case. Um, and who wouldn't be scared or nervous about the outcome of that disability hearing? Um, and so, you know, it's really hard even for my most professional, prepared client to um, really control what they might say on that all important hearing day. So tip number one in this series is gonna be keep it short, keep it sweet. Uh, the faster a disability hearing is, usually the better the outcome it is for the client. Um, it's very hard, and I'm going to almost say impossible, to talk your way into winning a disability case, but you can absolutely talk your way into losing a case by saying the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. So um, that, that's uh, you know, a, a piece of gold that I've acquired from thousands of hearings that I've handled over the years, Katie. All right. Well, thanks so much, Michael. And remember, you guys, we're going to be giving many of these tips. Michael's going to be sharing all of his information and all of his knowledge that he's gotten throughout all of these years. But we're also going to be answering your questions. So make sure that you visit our website, linerlegal.com, and submit your questions there. You can also do it on all of our social media profiles. Thank you, everybody.